a very exciting day today. Today is my first gig in over two years, and then I've got another one tomorrow. You see, what happened was, our last gig was in October. A Halloween gig supporting the same band we're going to be supporting today. Then we went into the studio for November, December and January, and by February, things were starting to close. No more gigs. So I've got to head home, prep my gear, get changed, and then get ready to go. All right, let's talk about gear for a second. Two different days, two different venues, two different entire rigs. The first rig, we're going to be playing in Fibber McGee's, which is the only rock-specific bar in Dublin. And they've got their own backline. I know when I go there, I'm going to have access to an Orange 412. Everyone will be using amps on stage, so I'm going to do the same. I'm going to be using a Victory Kraken 50 watt head, uh, just the one through the 412. And on the floor, I'm going to be using my pedal board. And I'm not even going to use it in the effects loop either. Everything's just going to run straight into the front of the amp. For the second gig, totally different situation. We're going to be playing in a different venue, the Grand Social, and this is a bring your own backline event. So, we're going to simplify things a little bit. In just a six unit rack, We've got two full guitar rigs. Panned on the left is me, distortion, amp, a little bit of delay, an IR, and then an EQ boost just for solos. And then on the right, panned all the way to the right, is the other guitar player, Glenn. He's got distortion, amp, and a cab sim. The Grand Social is a bigger venue, so I will be using a wireless for this gig. And that's in there. And I'll be controlling both rigs from the floorboard. A very simple setup, very small setup, but it works great, especially in conjunction with the bass going DI straight to the front of house too. So there's no amps on stage, just drums. Guitar wise, I'm not sure what I'm gonna be playing yet. Probably one of the Ormsby's. Don't know which one yet. I'll decide just before I leave. Hi there, post vlog editing KDH here to give you a little bit more context. That's Alex. Alex is the drummer of the band. The band's called Walker, by the way. That's not mentioned in the video. It probably should be. But yeah, Walker. We had to go to Alex's rehearsal space to pick up some drum gear. So what do we need to get? Snare, seamless, uh... Three, four, five... One, two, three, down, down, down. Yeah. Whoa, hold up. That there is Brian Burkett. Amazing player, pretty much Mamstein with a Les Paul. <laughs>
Alright, it's day two. Uh, I didn't get too much footage from last night, but last night was a really, really good show. The crowd were great. I really enjoyed it, and it was great to be back. Uh, and I thought we sounded pretty good. Especially considering the sound check or line check was probably the least involved I've ever been a part of. It was literally checking the vocal mics, and that was it. Uh, it was the first time I've ever had to turn up my amp while playing. Uh, yeah, it wasn't a very in-depth sound check, but I think we pulled it off. So today, different rig, it's the Line 6 rig, two guitars, left and right. Um, I've got Glenn's Les Paul, if you want to take a look at it. For those that are interested, this is Glenn's Les Paul. It's a 2019, 1960s spec Les Paul. <laughs> Right in the venue, and now my favorite part of every venue. My favorite part of every venue, the stairs. Yeah. Am I on candid camera right now? Not really candid if you notice that like you're being filmed. Cool. That's them. This is what I use for uh, like two double gig bag. It's like Ernie and Bert. Yeah, but this is what I use for acoustic gigs. That's deadly. <laughs> Alright, change of plan. Uh, we don't have enough time for a full sound check. Probably just a line check, so I'm just going to run through amps that are already on stage. No DI today. Just to add a little bit more context to that, there was some sort of problem with the drum kit. The bass drum was sounding really thin, and then there was issues with the floor tom. Uh, they weren't sounding right, and this pushed everything back, even the door time. Luckily, there was some venue backline, and we made the call to use that. Well, uh, what, what are you thinking about tonight's gig? I'm thinking that the guitars are going to sound awesome, the bass is going to be really cool, the drums are going to... And you should like and subscribe! <laughs> Is that going to be a bit? We're going to put that throughout the video. That's what it was. Yeah. Um, tonight's going to be really, really cool. I'm pumped. Can't wait. <laughs> no pedals. Just a Fender Hot Rod Deluxe. I want to get you guys to sing along tonight. 
Is that gonna be a problem? Micro SD card full. Right there. Not even joking. Uh, the rest of this vlog is shot on a phone, but I would like to include this clip from Sean, who was in the audience, because my pentatonic licks are on point. <laughs> So that's it. Two days, two shows, first time playing live in over two years, and I really did miss it. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye! You should like and subscribe!